Next one will be Lorraine. Good morning, Board of Supervisors. My name is Lauren Bernalli, and I am from Window Rock, Arizona. I also work with the Navajo Nation Human Rights Office. I'm here on behalf of not only, I am also a resident of Arizona and a voting member of Apache County, but I also am here because I want to raise your attention about the situation in Sanders. Uh, we learned recently that the uh, Old Red Barn has been sold to an uh, individual by the name of George Ryan. Obviously, Mr. Ryan will be coming before this board as pursuant to um, the Arizona Statutes 4-201, um, and pretty much that delineates your responsibilities to approve or disapprove a license or the sale of this, this establishment um, to Mr. Ryan. Our office, along with the community members, very much oppose the sale the transfer, or even a suspension um, of this license. We really need to respect the community interest in this area. There is a, um, a large concern about the public health issues with respect to um, certain types of disease. We have an increase of TB in that area. It's very well documented that this is coming from the behaviors exhibited by the inebriates in this area. Um, we also have a number of individuals that are very much concerned about the erosion of our Navajo culture, our traditions, and the principles that are contained in our fundamental law, which pretty much have eroded the way of life, our Navajo way of life. So uh, taking this into consideration, we certainly appreciate your understanding that when this comes before you, that you disapprove the transfer and sale of this license for our constituents, your constituents in that area of the Navajo Nation of Apache County. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Next one, Steve Miller. Good morning, Mr. Chairman and Board of Supervisors. Good morning. Good to see you. Um, just a brief comment. Um, I want to express my thanks to this board for reinstalling the call to the public. Um, I think it's imperative uh, as, a, uh, as a public board forum to allow uh, input from the public, uh, voting the public uh, as well. I want to also individually thank uh, uh, Supervisor Weller for his continued attempt to uh, get this situation resolved. I'm happy for it, and I greatly appreciate uh, the, uh, the reconsideration on the part of Board of Apache County. One suggestion, if I can make, and that is uh, from my own experiences serving on boards, um, many of these boards allow public comment in two sectors of the, uh, of the agenda. One, prior to board action, at the beginning of, uh, of the meeting, and as you've got it listed here as well, then at the, at the conclusion, um, I think that that's healthy for the board to know uh, in advance of decisions made uh, that uh, from, the, uh, from the residents, from the taxpayers, that uh, if there are items on the agenda uh, that are of importance, that they have the ability to comment on them before the board, in fact, takes action. So, aside from that, again, I thank you for the consideration, and I wish you all a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I believe that concludes our board meeting. Is there a motion to adjourn? The, yes, there's a motion to adjourn, Mr. Chairman. Okay, with that, I'll go and second the motion. All in favor say aye. 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 The Board of Supervisors meetings hereby adjourned. Thank you.